what we have omitted so far is the matrix notation matrix notation so the matrix notation works in a similar way as a vector notation so let's create this here five six so now we see there's a semicolon here in the middle and this creates a new row star or starts a new row so that we are getting a matrix which looks like that. Let's quickly create this in MATLAB. Square brackets, one, two, three, four, five, six. Square brackets. So let's Let's write this here. Oops, this was a was a capital A. Okay, so now we have got here the one, two, three in the one row and the four, five, six in the other row. So how do we access elements in this here? There's the same idea as before. So accessing elements. So for example, a one comma two. So this gives us, this defines the row and this defines the column. Let's try that. So we've got a 1,2 and so this gives us a 2. So now there's an interesting way of defining, defining also ranges here. So we can, so we can do something like, um, for example, 1 colon 2 comma one let's try this out here a is one colon two comma one and so in this case here so we are basically picking and what we do here so we are so we're picking picking the first column here yeah so so the one remember defines the column and then we are picking basically the these two values here from the first row and the second row. There's a special case um, where we could also, we can also write, for example, just colon comma one. And this, and this means that we basically want to have all rows. Let's, let's try this. A colon one. So in this case, it is exactly the same because we are getting basically these two one here. So we can also do the opposite. Let's say one comma colon, and then we should be getting the first row out of this here. Yeah, and indeed, so we are seeing we are getting the first row as an output here.